Right, so before we start off this video, there is one thing we need to do, and that is get a proper idea of what a proper world championship is like. Bottoms up. Right, so that is the Coca-Cola NASCAR iRacing World Championship. Guys, you should see it. There is prize money. There's no changing in rules. It is beautiful. It tastes so good. And now, I don't know what the hell the Porsche iRacing Esports Super Cup is, but it tastes a whole lot worse than this, let me assure you. Right, so if you're not caught up with what on earth is going on in the Porsche Esports Super Cup Pro Qualifying Series, I'll give you a bit of a lowdown. So, for this series, the Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car was given new tyre model 7, which is the new addition to iRacing, it's supposed to have a better warm-up phase, so you're not doing slow out laps anymore to keep the tyre pressure low. Um, and it's supposedly, you know, got better flex in the compound, it's supposedly got better wear models, it's supposed to have all these wonderful things that's supposed to benefit everybody. One of the downsides is that the warm-up model on it is very, very broken. And in fact, one of the best ways to get temperature into these tires is to do a massive burnout. Now, of course, in a race, you can't stop and do a burnout because you've gonna lose so much time on track by doing a burnout. But in qualifying on your outlap, you have all the time in the world to be doing a burnout. And I know what some of you might be thinking if you're not experienced with iRacing is that but by doing a burnout, you're going to absolutely destroy your tyres. And yes, you will absolutely lose a little bit of performance out of your tyres by doing these burnouts. But the benefit of having warm tyres far outweighs the loss of grip that you will lose from damage to the tyre. Heat over damage, apparently. Now, obviously, in the Porsche Esports Super Cup Pro Qualifying Series, all the top drivers are doing everything they can to gain every micro advantage to beat each other of course only 20 drivers go through to the main show and it is super competitive i myself was trying to qualify i did the first five weeks and i had moderate success but i wasn't quite good enough i wasn't able to score that 300 points minimum i was scoring 270 so i withdrew and the irony in that is i probably saved myself from getting banned because iRacing is now banning drivers who are doing burnouts in qualifying even though, in week 2 at Belle Isle, they told us it was okay. So in week 2 at Belle Isle, Nim Cross, after a little bit of a discussion and chopping and changing and all of that good stuff, came up with a final statement for what we can and cannot do in the Porsche Esports Super Cup Pro qualifying in qualifying to warm up my tyres. So. Um, for fairness sake, for you, the competitor, and for the ability of the stewards to police this issue, we are going to deem any warming, any warming of tyres that gives you forward progress as legal. So if you are making motion to move around the track and are warming your tyres, it is okay, whatever it is, this is for all cars using the V7 tyre. What is not okay is doing donuts, putting your nose against the wall to do a burnout. Any other tactic that sees you not making forward progress around the track, these can be protested and will result in a minimum of a one week suspension. So basically, they made it fairly clear, you can't spin in a circle, you can't put your car up against the wall, you can't be stopped on track. But any way to make forward progress is legal. So then, we get to the fun part is we are currently entering a new week in iRacing and out of nowhere, Johan Haaf gets bans from, at this stage, from the Porsche Esports Super Cup in, in its entirety, he can't qualify, and a one week ban from iRacing, or a suspension I should say. Now, we were all confused about that because Johan Haaf is a very respectable driver, um, but then the reasoning why he comes out and it's because he was doing burnouts on track. And what was he doing in particular that was wrong? Well, he was holding the brake while doing a burnout. That's fine. He was still making forward progress. But he was holding the brake. So apparently, that deserves a ban. And we we're like, wow, that's really, really harsh. Like, why has this happened? But then, out of nowhere, it floods. It absolutely floods and everyone starts getting banned. So, 
I'm going to go through a list here just to give you guys an idea. Johnny Vecher, Christopher Dambietz, Gunoso Telsden, Alexander Luritsen, Marin Kolak, Carly Jansen, Samuel LeBert, Marino Sarisa, Dennis Grabowski, Yannick Schnetz, Daniel LaFuente, Steve Clays, Ivo Howler, Valtteri Alanda, Mac Backer, Matty Kytasoja, Alexander Thieb, Jeff Giassi, Jonas Vollmeyer, Jao Vaz, Kim Eriksson, Mark Perez, Salva Talons, to name a few that have been banned currently from the Porsche Esports Super Cup and are currently suspended from iRacing. Now, a lot for a lot of you, those names might be quite familiar because it's almost everybody from the top 30, just about. I believe at this stage, we're over 20 of the top 30 are currently banned. Can't qualify. What does that say, iRacing? What does that say? Is it a case of 20 of the 30 best drivers in iRacing currently all misinterpreted the rules? Or is it because iRacing, you are moving the rules and changing the goalposts every single time with no official warning and are making changes out of the blue and banning people for rules that don't exist at the time? The clarification that all of us followed was that as long as you're making forward progress, it was okay. Why? Because Nimcross said it in his post. We all follow that and no one had an issue for, what, two months? Two months with absolutely no issues. And then all these bans come. Why? That's not how you run a series. That is just... It's bamboozled me. I'm completely bamboozled. Like... <laughs> I wasn't even planning on making a video today. I didn't want to make any videos until March when I had things plans, but iRacing, 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 how can you be doing such amazing things with your oval program? Every oval series pretty much has title sponsorship. You've got Coca-Cola sponsorship for your main NASCAR series. It's got broadcast on NBCSN. That's incredible. What happened to the roadside? Like, oh my god. I'm not the only one frustrated. Like, currently, I'm the sim racing drama world <laughs> Twitter page is brilliant at the moment. There are memes, there is everything. Like, iRacing have not screwed something up this badly. Like, my team manager, Simon Feigl, <laughs> alluded to the 2017 uh, Le Mans 24 hours when everyone um, pretty much just abandoned the race because of server issues. That's the last time I can think of such a farce as this, because they've literally turned the pro qualifying series into complete disarray. They've completely just thrown a curveball that eliminates pretty much all the drivers that earns their way into the series. Like, for me, I said at the start of the video, I did a couple of rounds of the Porsche Esports Super Cup. I was competitive. I was I won like a 6k soft race. Like I was scoring well over 270 points on average around. That wasn't good enough. But if I stuck with it and wasn't doing burnouts, I would qualify now. So after the first eight rounds of the series, I wasn't good enough. Okay, I, straight up, I didn't do a good enough job. I don't deserve to be in the series. But now you're going to have drivers like me that weren't good enough qualify just because everyone else got banned. Literally everyone else got banned. If 20 of 30 drivers like all break the rules apparently according to Iris and when at no point did they ever according to how everything was ruled iRacing it needs to show you it's not the drivers that are wrong it's you guys a massive error has been made and you need to rectify it these 20 drivers in the top 30 currently you are doing them the biggest injustice and you are giving them such an incentive to walk away from your platform forever like if this is how pro drivers or pro sim racers can expect to be treated on your platform you're not going to have a road platform don't get me wrong your oval platform is brilliant it's doing so well but do you not think there's not going to be another developer out there that's not going to take your place on the roadside 
Like, you look at the GT3s currently, everyone says the set of course competition is doing a better job. I would argue they are too. R Factor 2 is doing some incredible things. They've got special events now. Your special events may not be so special. Like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love iRacing. But you couldn't have got this more wrong. You absolutely could not have got this more wrong. This is the most off-the-cuff video I've ever done. Normally, I've got little notes and everything that I use to do these videos, but I don't need notes. <laughs> like, this is just me speaking trying to speak on behalf of all sim racers because they've been given injustice basically they signed up to a series they followed the rules as what was stated to them they were told as long as they were making forward progress they are fine one of my teammates alex laritzen was banned he, he i have not seen him stop on track i haven't seen him stop on track so many other drivers stream their races I can go through all their Twitch streams, Johnny Vecchio streams. He doesn't stop. Like... <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just going to wrap this up here. I just want to get this video out and get my thoughts onto the platform in a way I can, but... Yeah, look, iRacing... You need to sort this out. That's not good enough. I'm sorry, but that's not good enough. And surely you need to be realizing that as well. You need to unban these drivers and fix your ruling. You need to come out with a statement and say, like, don't just post it in the forums. Make a statement somewhere, whether it's on the homepage of the beta UI, make it accessible on the classic website UI, make it on your Facebook page, Twitter page, whatever it is. Make a statement. Yes, you can do this. No, you can't do that. Gray area there, fix it immediately. Don't let it go on anymore. Porsche is one of the biggest manufacturers in the world and they are backing this sim racing series. They aren't putting massive investment into R Factor 2. They're not putting massive investment into a set of Corsa, race room. Don't get me wrong, they've got backing there, but a 100k prize pool for their Porsche Esports Super Cup, they chose your platform. And this is how you're governing it. Like, be clear, be concise, stop changing the rules. It's a joke. A complete joke. I'm Bo Albert. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>